Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I want to share with you the Intro to Energy unit from The Good and the Beautiful. This is the third unit that we will be using for the school year. Our first two units are going to be the human body to start the school year, and then marine biology after that one. So this will be the one that we use after marine biology. These unit studies are for grades K through 6, but they do have extensions in here to use them for grades 7 through 12. So that is something that's really awesome about the Good and the Beautiful science programs. So here we have just the um, vocabulary. And this is one of my favorite things about the Good and the Beautiful science is the vocabulary wall. Here we have the table of contents. This um, unit in particular only has six lessons in it, but it is a prerequisite to energy, heat, light, and sound. Here we kind of have a breakdown of unit information. We have a talk about the science journal, the science wall, the lesson mini books, the lesson preparation, experiments, and teaching older children. Then we have the supplies needed broken down by each lesson. Okay, then we have some optional read aloud storybooks to go with the unit. And here we have lesson one, what is energy? So the energy unit is chock full of tons of experiments and activities to do. So right off the bat here you have an activity, which I think is really fun. My kids are really gonna love that. They love doing different activities and experiments. And then here we have the lesson extension for older children. Even though my son is only going into fifth grade, um, and it says for grades 7 through 12, I don't see any reason why he can't do this. All he is doing is defining these terms. So he will be doing some of the lesson extensions as well throughout this, just to make it a little more challenging for him. And here is their first student sheet. And then we move on to lesson two, which is atoms, molecules, and forms of energy. Okay. And it looks like here they are making an atom out of Play-Doh. So that's pretty cool. And then again, here is the lesson extension for older children. It looks like there is something for them to read. So in the back of this, there is actually an extension of more information for older children to read. Let go ahead and get through this here. All right, now we have lesson three, which is forms of energy. And this is a bunch of experiments, actually. So there are multiple experiments for the children to do. There are seven of them. So um, it does say that you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to do. I am going to, however, try to do all of these. We will see how that goes, though. And then here's a really cool recipe for oven cupcakes, some mores. Um, so I'm really excited about this as well. We love to bake and do different things like that. Um, so yeah. Lesson four is the transfer of energy. And again, quite a few experiments in this one. Lesson five is potential and kinetic energy. and more experiments <laughs> and it looks like here they're making a frog hopper and then we move on to lesson six which is renewable and non-renewable energy And that is pretty much all for this unit. I do want to show you guys the um, lesson extension for older grades. So here it is. It's about this thick, um, but it's just extra things for them to read and questions for them to answer. And then we have the mini books. Okay. So that is all for Intro to Energy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.